Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade vanilla ice cream. It's my family's favorite recipe and we've made it for as long as I can remember, since I was a little girl. My grandma and grandpa made it, my mom and dad made it, and I'm going to show you how to make it using an old-fashioned ice cream maker. Not really the turn kind, but the electric kind. Alright, for ingredients you're going to want six large eggs, one and a quarter cup sugar, I'm using pure cane sugar, you can also use granulated sugar, four teaspoons of vanilla extract, 14 ounces or one can of sweetened condensed milk, 24 ounces or two cans of evaporated milk, a teaspoon of salt, and then whole milk. And the milk is going to finish filling up your canister after you've poured the rest of the mixture in. Usually it amounts to about six cups of whole milk. Now you can also use half and half in place of the whole milk if you want an even creamier texture to your ice cream. Totally up to you. We just always go with milk because that's what we have on hand. I want to talk to you about the eggs before we get started mixing. So I'm using six large eggs and I'm using our chicken eggs. So I'm not too worried about them, but if you are worried about your eggs, you have two options. You can either use pasteurized eggs or you can heat up your eggs with your evaporated milk to a temperature of about 160 degrees and then uh, cool them back down before you mix up your ice cream. That will hopefully lessen your risk of having any problems with the eggs in the recipe. But for as long as I can remember, my family has always just thrown the eggs in and mixed it up. So that's what I'm going to do for this video. We're going to start by creaming the eggs and the sugar together with a mixer. So that's six large eggs. And then I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of sugar. And then we're going to go ahead and mix that up really well. Now we're going to add in the four teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then you're going to add in one can or 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Make sure you take a spatula and scrape out all the inside so that you get all of that sweetened condensed milk. Then we're going to go ahead and give that another good mixing. Now we're going to add both cans of evaporated milk. So that's two cans or 24 ounces of evaporated milk. Then we're going to add a good dash of salt. It's probably about a teaspoon of salt to our ice cream. And then we'll mix that up together again. Then you're just going to pour that egg mixture into your canister. Make sure you scrape your bowl out to get all of the liquid out of your bowl. We're going to fill the canister about three quarters of the way up all together. We're going to go ahead and finish filling it with milk and somewhere down in your canister you'll have a fill line. Ours happens to be right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up to there with whole milk. And again you can use half and half if you want a creamier texture to your ice cream. But we usually have milk on hand so that's what I'm using. Alright. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. That gives you room at the top for the ice cream to expand as it freezes. Our paddle is already in there. We've switched places and we have our big ice cream tub here. We're going to go ahead and put our canister down in the ice cream maker. Our filled canister is ready to go. Once you have it all situated, then you can just go ahead and put your lid on. Now 
we're going to go ahead and put the motor on the ice cream maker and situate it. Once you have it situated, then you can take your latch, if your ice cream maker has that, and fasten it in place. And you're all set to add ice and rock salt and freeze your ice cream. Let's talk about the rock salt as well. The rock salt is something that I've gotten a lot of questions about and I've had people actually try to make this ice cream and I don't know if they they didn't use rock salt. They either used kosher salt or regular table salt. They, they didn't have the right thing. So rock salt is usually something you buy for your driveway to keep to help with ice when it ices out um, to help melt the ice. But rock salt is like this gray, it's gray, and it helps your ice cream to freeze. That's the key. So, you want to make sure that you use actual rock salt. Now, where can you get this? Yes, you can buy a small box on Amazon. You can probably even buy a small box at your grocery store or at Walmart. But, the secret to getting more of it and cheaper is to go to a hardware store or a feed store and you can get a great big bag of it, it'll last a lot longer and it's a lot more affordable. So that's the secret to getting rock salt. Just make sure that you use rock salt to freeze the ice cream. As for the ice, we've got a great big bag of ice from the gas station or from the ice station actually. But, um, and what we do is we go out on the porch and we'll hammer it around just a little bit to break up all the big pieces of ice and make it smaller so it works better in our freezer. Now if you can't get a big bag of ice right now you can take gallon jugs or soda jugs, two liter jugs, um, juice jugs and you can fill them with water, freeze them. You're not going to be drinking this so you can freeze them, leave a little bit of room for expansion and then my parents what they used to do they had an old part of a denim jean leg that they kept just for ice cream making and they would put that over the jug and then they would hammer the jug into little pieces of ice and use that for freezing ice cream. So there's lots of options if you can't get out and get a bag of ice right now. Our ice cream is going in our canister. What you want to do is you want to layer the ice and the rock salt. And then once you have a couple layers of ice and rock salt, you're going to fill it up to the weeping hole with water. Once you have that done, then you're going to keep adding layers of ice and rock salt, and you want to keep your canister covered so it can keep freezing. So I'm going to add some rock salt, and then we're going to do some ice. Once your machine stops, that means your ice cream is frozen and you want to unplug it right away. Once your ice cream stops, the, ma the machine will stop running, then you want to unplug it as soon as possible. Let me go ahead and remove the motor. And take some of the bigger chunks of ice. Now at this point, if you're not ready to eat the ice cream, I know growing up my mom and dad would just put a towel over it. Put it, They would fill it up with ice, like heap it up and then put a towel over it and let it sit. Or you can even take your canister once you get it out of here and put it in to the freezer and let it freeze a little bit more. It's totally up to you, but we're ready to eat it, so I'm going to get the ice out of it. 
Right, and you just kind of want to wipe your lid off to make sure there's no salt. Because you do not want to get that in your ice cream as you remove the lid. And then you can take the lid off. And you've got ice cream. Now I like to pull the churn out, and usually the kids fight over it. Over who gets to lick it. Oh man, that looks good. Now you can take this whole thing out if you want to. I'm just going to leave it there so it stays cold. And then you just want to scoop it out. And it's going to be really soft, kind of like soft serve ice cream. Really, really delicious. Alright, I can't wait to try it. I love ice cream. I really like banana ice cream. And I'm going to link to that recipe so you can have that recipe too. Mmm. Lots of vanilla flavor. I might have to cut up some strawberries tonight and put over it. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good.